No, welcome back, everyone. Um, this is part two of our tower defense series. Um, in today's episode, we're going to be adding mobs, and we're going to get them to walk along the path. Um, yeah, let's do it. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the soldier. So let's add a body. And the way I do this um, might be a bit different than you might expect. It might be a bit different than most other um, people. I know Dote GD script has done a tower defense tutorial and it's a lot different, but you should definitely check it out. The way they do it is really smart. Um, but I'm going to kind of approach it my way. So uh, let's do that. Soldier, new soldier A. We're going to create a new folder called mobs. I'm going to save it in here. And in here, I'm just going to say soldier A. We're going to add two things. We're going to add a collision shape. Um, we're going to make it a square. A circle, sorry. And then, in fact, when we go into the, where is it? PNG default size. You can can't really see it. I move my camera for a second. If we scroll down somewhere. It should be around here. It should be two forty-five or something. There we go. Two forty-five. We have a bunch of different ones, but I'm going to use uh, two forty-five. So we can pop that in. Um, we can take our sprite, and put it up there, and we can center it. It's already centered. Awesome. Um, one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into project settings. In filter settings, I'm going to go for filter. <laughs> Search up filter. I'm going to go to texture, and here we're going to do nearest, and close. And you should be able to see our pixel, or image is now pixelated a little bit better. Um, so let's go here, and let's not write a script just yet, but let's go into our main. So. In here, um, we're going to add two things. First, let's add a camera to make sure that we center everything. Or not center everything, but we can see everything. So let's actually change the project to do. Uh, let's go to Window. Let's reset this. And we're going to actually full screen this. So now, when I play. Let me move my camera back. Takes a second to load. There we go. Ooh. All right, there we go. So now we have um, the whole screen. So now we should be able to just like zoom in. And we play one more time. This shows us most of it. Let's change it one more time and zoom out slightly more. A little bit more. Actually, let's just move to the right a little bit. Zoom out. Okay, there we go. We see the full screen. Awesome. And you can copy the zoom and position if you want. So uh, now let's add a node. In this node, we're going to be adding our path spawner. So I'm going to call this path spawner. Spawner. Um, we're not going to do anything there yet. But first, let's actually add our path. So there's two things we need. We have the path 2D and path follow 2D. So let's add our path 2D and then fast. Follow 2D. So the path follow 2D is how we draw the actual um, path. The path 2D is the actual curve, essentially. So we're going to select the path 2D. Oh, no, sorry. In our path 2D. Yeah, sorry. Path 2D. There we go. You can see it selected. And on the top, we should be able to see the points. So now what we can do is we can add points. We can just go here and start adding points along the path. And I can kind of fix it out later. We can make sure the the dirt path is a bit bigger, and we'll make sure that it can fit the path, or it can fit the actual thing. Okay, so there we go. We've made a path. Um, let's save. And now we should be able to basically just add our soldier. So if we go here into the bottom and add our soldier that we saved. We can add it, but nothing will happen yet. So in our soldier, we're going to actually add a script. We're not going to add this. We're going to add a default node. Let me just go to my script reference. OK. And the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to have an export speed. I'm going to do 1,000, which is pretty fast. 
fast, um, but you can do like 100, 100 is not bad either. Um, so the first line we're gonna do is we're gonna get our parent, which is going to be the path follow 2D, and then we're gonna set progress to the current progress plus our speed times delta. So the progress is right here. So we can see our player actually. Um, let's actually go into here and double the player size. So now we can see it a bit clearer. Now if I move the progress, the player moves along the, or the mob moves along the line, right? Okay, so now um, with that line, we should be able to see our player move actually. And taking a second for my thing to load, but yeah, you can see the thing, the guy moving along. Awesome. And the problem is uh, that you might have been able to see is the path follow 2D recess. So the first thing we can do is unloop that so we can make sure it's not on loop. And then there's one more line we're going to add to make sure that our game kind of functions properly, which is once the get ratio, get progress ratio is equal to one, then we're just going to Q3. Um, the reason why we can do this is because in here we can see the progress ratio. If we complete it all the way to one, it'll be at the end. That means it's done. So that's the ratio of it. Awesome. Um, next up, we're going to figure out how do we actually add several monsters spawning at the same time? Well, there's an issue which um, kind of persists here, which you might think, okay, well, I could just add several soldiers. However, that doesn't work because what's gonna happen is every soldier is gonna get, go on top of each other because um, every time I add a new soldier, it's going to set the progress to the current progress. And so the progress doesn't change. Right? So the progress isn't dependent on the soldier, it's dependent on the actual follow path 2D. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create a, a child of that path. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a path, whatever. I'm going to go to instantiate, main, we're going to make local, we're going to yoink that path 2D, and we're going to delete this, I'm going to delete the soldier, we don't need that, and I'm going to take this path. And I'm going to, where is it? Make scene root right there. And then I'm going to delete that other path 2D. We don't need that. So now we have our new path here, right? So this is our path that we want. Um, we're going to save this as stage one. Um, we'll put this, yeah, in mobs. Why not? Um, but in here, we're actually going to add our soldier in here. Um, we'll change things up later, but just for the sake of making this work, we're just going to add our soldier into this stage one thing. In our soldier, we don't have to change anything, so we're gonna close this for now. In our main, um, we no longer need this guy, so we're gonna delete this. However, in our path spawn spawner, we're gonna add a timer now. In our timer, we're gonna click auto start. We're gonna go to path spawner, we're gonna add a script. Sure, we'll make GD. In there, we're going to connect our timer, so we're gonna go to node, timeout, connect it. And super simple, we're gonna delete all this. We're gonna on ready path. Um, to the stage one. So let's actually make sure that stage one is correct. There we go. And then we're gonna have two lines, which is super simple. We've done it over and over. We're gonna create the temp path to the, to that path, right? We're gonna instantiate it, and then we're gonna add it. Uh, and there's no need to add it to anywhere else. We're gonna add it on top of this node. We want it to be added at point zero, right? So now when I launch the game, ooh, it looks a bit messy because it's off-centered but it is following the, the path correctly. So let's see what's going on. Let's go to path 2D here. And as we can see, this path looks fine. Something is, doesn't seem right. Let's add this guy. Do -do. Okay, let's take this and slow it down a little bit. Let's try one more time. Okay, so it's being set a little differently. That's why. Okay, so let's go over here, transform, should be zero. Two, two, two. Okay, I think this has to do with the video. Um, I think that's it though, it does kind of work, kind of. Um, I will fix the 
spawning issue next time. I'll figure out why that's happening. Um, but so far, it is kind of working. I do think it's because we're in full screen. So it's actually, let's maximize that. I wonder if that'll work. Let's try that. Okay, so it's still kind of bugging out a little bit, but it does work. This I think this works a bit better than full screen, so we'll do this. Um, yeah, other than that, I think it's good. Um, we've progressed a little bit. Hopefully you guys uh, have a little bit about the path um, 2D and path 2D follow. Uh, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.